The Reno City Plaza attracts skaters from every walk of life. Tyler Dewitt, classic skate shop team rider and Reno local, is one of them. Oh, it's so hard to like. Tyler explains what inspired him to pick up a skateboard 17 years ago and how he learned how to skate at his local park in Fallon. What really made me buy my first skateboard was watching an episode of Viva La Bam and just watching him. I'm like, I want to do exactly that. And then I moved to a small town in Fallon. I, uh, I just skated over to the skate park since it was so close of a vicinity for me. And uh, I just, yeah, I remember like cutting my teeth there at the old little Fallon skate park. Tyler says that he never thought he'd be a sponsored skateboarder like he is now. Skateboarding was something he just thought was cool. By the time Tyler was a sophomore in high school, Classic's first location opened up in Fallon. He recounts the day of the grand opening, the relationship between him and Classic owner Eric, and how that eventually led to him getting on the team. And it was a pretty funny story. I remember the, the day, the, the grand opening day, I got arrested in front of the shop because I was mouthing off to a police officer. So I definitely made uh, myself known to Eric for sure. Um, but Eric saw me at the skate park every day and I would just be consistent. I would literally skateboard every day and I would be in that shop all the time buying skateboards, annoying the shit out of him, what? just at being a little kid. I don't know, he, he probably saw something in me and he, he fostered that talent. We were all skating at the Fallon Park together and he just kind of said it all lackadaisically. He just looked at me, he's like, hey, you want to ride for the shop? And I'm like, and The classic team dropped their first full-length video back in March, a video that Tyler says took a total of two years to complete. He says that he wanted to skate things that everyday normal people see in public, things that people outside of skateboarding can relate to. I ultimately, with this video, I want to inspire new people to come into this and discover the magic for themselves. You know, I just, I tried to do something that was accessible. You know, even people outside of skateboarding can relate to and appreciate and have fun watching. Tyler says that there's a lot of room for talent, videos, and overall, a big platform for people in the Reno skate scene. He says that he lives for seeing new kids taking up skateboarding and expressing their love for it. I mean, there's nothing cooler in this world than seeing like a little kid on a skateboard and telling you about how they've been skating for four months, but they just love it so much. You know, I live for that ultimately. Like, Reno has the raddest scene, and there ain't a better form of therapy than picking up a skateboard. So if you want to make some friends or if you just want to work out some mental stuff, pick up a skateboard. Go skate with some friends. Skateboarding is the best thing in the world. There ain't a, there ain't a single thing better than skateboarding. I've yet to seen it. Where is it? Show me. That was good. Carlo Mercado with the Reynolds School of Journalism.